Some shirts go hard. You ever see a shirt and go, that shirt goes hard? Welcome to Hive Mind Unlimited. You've probably seen this Twitter account going around. It's at shirts that go hard, where it collects shirts from the wild that seem to go hard. Today, we're gonna rank those shirts on how hard they are. Speaking of shirts that go hard, we have some on our website, HiveMindTV.com. If you want some more exclusive content, don't forget to subscribe to our Patreon. All right, first one we got, in Comic Sans, God's Drunkest Driver. Gas Pack. Unbelievable shirt. Yeah, just amazing. Like God's favorite child, you know, yeah. it's just, it's awesome. God's Drunkest Driver. <laughs> <laughs> the Comic Sans makes it an S. For me. Yeah, me too. I yeah. love it. This one's really weird though. If you look closely at this image, it looks like there's a very faint translucent gods above it. Whoa, yeah. Like you can kind of see it says gods something above it. That's weird. It's almost like printed over an old god shirt or it, something. Yeah. yeah. I want one that says God's favorite tweaker. Favorite tweaker. <laughs> All right, yeah, S tier for this one. Next we've got, are you there God? It's a me, Mario. <laughs> a lot of religious themed stuff going on with these shirts that go hard. Yeah. I don't know what he's like sitting in. Has he made like a little ring or something for himself? Just a little graphic. Oh no, it's a shadow. Okay, it's like oh, a yeah. light. Uh, so it's like a spotlight on Mario and then his shadow. Got it, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. It is amazing. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> the color palette is amazing. Here. Yes, pale blue. Mario's in his blue period. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one's good. It's not quite an S because I hate Mario. So it's an A for me. Okay, what about you should that let me love you, let me be the one to. That's his song. Never heard it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, really? Yeah, it's one of the best R&B songs of all time. Wow, send it to me. A tier, right? A. Harry Potter hates Ohio. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. I mean, yeah, we're from Ohio, yeah. but I love how niche this shirt is. Yeah. I don't know why the Ohio slander has gone on so long, and now it's just extrapolated into even fictional worlds. Yeah. But, you know, it is funny. I love, like, it's weird how much attention Ohio gets. Like, that's where we're from. Yeah. But, like, how do people from Kansas and, like, North Dakota and, like, Wyoming think? They shit on us still. I know, but, like, they don't have any attention. Nobody talks yeah. about their states at all. That's true. It's like any press is good press. Yeah. At exactly. least they're talking about Ohio. That's what I'm saying. You know? I give this an S. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's an S. All right. S tier for Harry Potter Hates Ohio. Now we've got a long one. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I'll read it. I was telling my son about Louis Armstrong, and he said, what's his web? Website. Kids these days will never understand that Louis Armstrong does not have a website. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, the statement, who's this for? Yeah. Kids will never understand that Louis Armstrong doesn't have a website. <laughs> Why are kids like, I can't understand. How does he have a website? The jazz classical musician. <laughs> and then the second best thing about it is all of the fonts used. Yes. So many different ones just Chaos. to accentuate different aspects aspects of this run on sentence. And to have the horn in there. Oh yeah. It exemplifies Louis Armstrong, the horn player. Yes. <laughs> not the astronaut. And not the biker. God, a lot of Louis Armstrongs. This is my favorite one yet by far. This is easiest S tier. S tier, boom. Next we've got, this isn't even a shirt, I think. It's a jacket? Or like, yeah, a sweater maybe? One day I'm just gonna say fuck it all and let my demons out to play. <laughs> you know she's serious because she's wearing fingerless gloves. Absolutely. <laughs> you don't fuck with someone like this. No. I don't want to see these demons, and I know they're not going to play. Well, these demons might play the keys or something. What Maybe that's why she has them. She goes, I'm going to let them out. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is made really great by the fact that this person is wearing it. Yes. It's just about who is wearing it. Like, if I saw, like, some bro somewhere wearing sure. this, I'd be like, okay, he's doing it ironically. Like, I think she means all of this. Oh, absolutely. Like, she bought that and was like, yes, that's my personality. I'm about to go crazy. <laughs> and she definitely rides a motorcycle. Facts. To me, it's like a B, though. Yeah, it's yeah. not all the way up there. Mm -hmm. Now we got, whoa, nice cock. With the poorly drawn Sonic. This was made on J. Jackbox. Oh, okay. Yeah, TKO, I yeah. think is the name of the game on Jackbox, where you're like, when you win the game, you can buy the shirts, they're like 15 bucks or yeah, something, yeah. and it's always this type, and then somebody drew that like with their finger on their phone. It's unbelievably poor. It's pretty funny though. It's not funny to me. You hate it? Over it. You don't like nice cocks? Cox. Oh, this sorry. is about the shirts. Well, C for cock then. See, I would give it an F. So let's you want to F it? Yeah, I don't like this one. D? Yeah, let's go D. I think it's kind of funny. It's probably funny to the Discord chat that made it, yeah. but to me, I'm like, oh, okay, come on. All right, D for dick. Next we got, please don't do ketamine off the Koala Care changing station. <laughs> How long has Koala Care had the monopoly on changing stations? I don't know. I think it's, it's logo strength though. Yeah. It's a great logo. <laughs> it's a really good logo. They're like the Otis of the changing stations. Otis? 
Like the elevator company? Yeah. It's like 90% of the elevators in the US are Otis elevators. I'd like to see what other brands are competing with Koala Care. They're like, oh, fuck you, Koala yeah, Care. Care. Like, Damn, we really can't take Koala Care down. They're yeah. at every truck stop. Absolute I mean, monsters. <laughs> Koala Care changing stations are great because people like to carve stuff into them, do cocaine off of them, yep. or like draw cocks on them. Yeah. Imagine a parent going up to a Koala Care station, pulling it down, pulling their baby out of a knapsack, plopping that thing down on there, and then they look and it says, there's a sticker that says, Joe Biden did this. <laughs> <laughs> with an arrow. <laughs> this gets an A for me. Yeah, it's in the A range. Uh -huh. It's like too high quality. Yeah. For it to really be the high quality. Next. It's a quality. I get it. I get it. It's a t shirt. Quality. Quality. Yeah. Yeah. You, know? you can't help yourself sometimes, can you? Mm -mm. Next, we got I lubricate my AR 15 with liberal cum. When I read it, I thought it said literal cum. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one is funny because I would think it would be liberal tears. Right. Like, why do they have liberal, liberal cum? cum? They're hooking up with liberals and saving yeah. their cum to lubricate their gun. Yeah, it's very strange. Again, it's the person with the shirt here that goes a long way. This guy's yeah. so proud of it. And I can kind of tell how the home is set up and these kind of homes always have an assault rifle. In. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know I mean? yeah. If your kitchen's like this and you got tons of family photos on the wall, you're ready to kill. I don't like when guys who look like this are proud of anything. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. The only thing I like that guys like this are proud of is like a new lawnmower. Yeah, that's true. Like, Cub cadet. <laughs> this could be on conservative self owns yeah. as well, which is another great Twitter account. Yeah. Because it feels like he's admitting to something that yeah. he didn't mean to say with sure. his shirt. Yeah, it's like a C for me. Yeah, B or C. C's good. Next we got <laughs> He Just Like Me For Real. I love this one. In The one. Catcher in the Rye. An <laughs> book amazing cover. one. <laughs> yeah, I love this one so much. Yeah. It's one of those ones that doesn't make sense, but it does. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. It's like something that somebody would say. Like yeah. they'd post the actual cover of Catcher in the Rye and say He Just Like Me For Real. Like, I'm Holden Caulfield. Sure. But to put it on the shirt in the text is amazing. Like, yeah. I would actually wear this one. Oh, All the shirts sure. we've seen, I would wear this one. Yeah. yeah. And the last one. No. S tier? S. Now we got, I smoked crack with Nancy Reagan. And her, like, a screenshot from the PSA of, I'm assuming, like, the crack is whack era. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, Nancy Reagan is like a bottomless pit of hilarious reference, you know? Anytime yeah. she's on something, it's just gonna make you laugh. Yeah, you have the anti-drug, you yeah. have, like, the cum-guzzling thing that uh -huh. she was into. Yeah. And then you have, yeah, there's tons of, her husband is like, you know, a bunch of stuff with him. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff you can do. You know, yeah. Nancy Ray gun, you can always do that. <laughs> yeah, this one's good, but it's not, you know, it doesn't bust my guts. Yeah, I hate the text on it. Like it's just, it's just the picture. Like it's like a D for me. Let's F it. F it? Yeah. Yeah, let's F it. This next one's a twofer. We have a front and a back. Okay. We have a little graphic of money here. We have a little guy doing something. And then it has, the text is like built into like a, like a house or something. Yeah. Like it's supposed to be like a house shape. It says, I'm never going going to buy another horse. Never. No way. Won't happen. And then the back is the punchline. It says, well, dot, 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 maybe just one more. <laughs> With the little heart and like the horse silhouette. That's amazing. Someone that's addicted to buying horses, that's a hilarious concept. You ever heard the concept of someone being horse poor? Horse poor? Yeah. It's the idea of somebody who like makes a good deal of money, but is always spending money on horses. Yeah. And they kind of have this, almost this weird stereotype about the guys doing it to keep their women happy. Yeah, like sure. But their women love the horses, so he keeps spending money on horses to keep his wife happy yeah. and eventually becomes horse poor. Like it's all of his money has gone into getting these horses to keep his wife happy. Horse owners and boat owners yeah. have that in common. Can't take a horse out on the water either. Seahorse. Oh, a seahorse. I forgot about a seahorse. Yeah. yeah, I would wear this one. This is an S. Yeah, S tier. Next we got an elderly woman wearing a shirt that says, some of y'all don't know what happened to Earl and it shows. Earl's like in the Coors Light font too, almost like that cursive. <laughs> well, 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 the chicks, formerly known as the Dixie Chicks, had a song called What Happened to Earl. Oh, really? Yeah, and they like, in the music video, they murder the guy. See, I thought that this was like an inside joke. Like I no. was like, this is somebody who made this, it's almost like a family reunion type shirt. Maybe it is, but I know the chicks had a song called What Happened to Earl and they killed Earl. Oh, okay. That makes it way less funny to me. Oh. I thought this was like something that nobody got. What's funny to me here is it looks like she just got done murdering Earl. She looks like exhausted. <laughs> yeah, she does look tired. <laughs> But she looks happy. She yeah. looks smitten with her new shirt. Yeah. Foolishly full of pride. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a D. Yeah. Next we got, also in Comic Sans, I'm a slut for Crab Rangoon. I mean, who isn't though?
<laughs> hey. What it, do we want to do with this? It's middle of the road for me. Yeah. It's too like, I don't know. These ones that really go hard to me are like the horse one where it can go both ways. It has to have like a level of sincerity to it and yeah. obscurity. And this is just a little on the nose. So. Yeah. It seems like it was made to be on this account. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Let's give it a C. C. Yeah. Next one, we've got an embroidered shirt. Okay. That says, quote, sad. I'm sad. Again. End quote. Unknown people, are you? See, this is brilliant. It gets a message across. You're quoting depression. It does not get a message across. It is the opposite of that. Sad. I'm sad. Again, that's a strong message. Unknown people, are you? Yeah, I like one that leaves you puzzled like this. Who did he tell you that to? Exactly. A? Well, I would go B on it. Okay, B's fine. B? Next, we've got a sweatshirt that says, I have given up. This one's beautiful. I love that it says it on the sleeve, too. Yeah. It's like they printed it big text, and then they had to do a separate print. Yeah, smaller, so it fit on the sleeve. <laughs> I have given up. I <laughs> yeah, it's like streetwear inspired. <laughs> it's so weird. It's gas, though. It's like 2010 rave shirt yeah. mixed with, like, new fake Nike or something. Yep. <laughs> I love this one. S tier? Yeah. Okay. All right, next we've got, if my horse had your face, I'd shoot it. That's brilliant, too. I love this one. Because it's mean. Yeah. Yeah. And the horse community kind of rules the whole hard shirt stuff for me. Yeah, hard shirts, it's like horses and religion. Are yeah. Like the two main things that you get out of the shirts that go hard. Absolutely. Yeah. And somehow like slutting yourself out for food seems to be a big trend. Yeah, I'm already slutted out. I couldn't slut myself out for food. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm like mega slutted out. <laughs> That's good for you. Thank you. Sexual awakening type summer. You've got like a four, 49 gauge... Um, mega uh, turbo rifle there too. Uh -huh. That's one of my guns. Nice. That I have. Cool. I Big have, gun guy. I love guns. Cool. <laughs> this is an S. Okay. Next we've got, in the style of what I believe is the Pizza Hut logo. Yes. <laughs> we've got <laughs> the wife of the leader of the Church of Scientology, Shelly Miscavige, has not been seen in public since 2007. <laughs> and the pizza's wearing little sunglasses. I love when you can sneak a conspiracy theory into like a familiar logo. I'm scared to have this on screen for too long. I'm scared to talk about it in general. Okay. So I think we should just rank it and keep moving. A. Okay. Go, 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 go. Get it off, get it off, go, get it go, off, go, get it off, get it off. All right, next we got gay. Fine by me. Marijuana is safer than alcohol. It's the space here. <laughs> I mean, this is tackling a lot of social issues right here, though. Absolutely. And it's blue. Go libs. Uh, I'm giving this an A. Yeah. If it was on Bernie Sanders, it was an S. But. <laughs> All right. Next, we got Kermit the Frog in one of the weirdest stances I've ever seen, holding a gun like this. And it says, behold, the most powerful spell of all. Are you ready to meet God? <laughs> he's like doing magic, but he just got a gun. <laughs> yeah, the spell being gun violence here. Yeah. He's wearing like a wizard hat, but yeah. it also looks kind of like a birthday hat. Yeah, he's you know? a party magician or something. I love that it's all handwritten text in like these speech bubbles that are light blue on a white shirt. Yeah. Like you don't usually see stuff like that. It's no. got like a children's book sort of vibe to it. I mean, I love it. It's like good writing. Yeah, like Legitimately like good writing. S tier for me. Yeah, no question. Next we got P is for poop. With a little turd giving you the thumbs up and he's got a hip hat on. I love that this one is so weathered. Yeah. Somebody got a lot of you Use. A lot of mileage out of this shirt. Yeah. It is one of their most worn shirts ever. Yeah, there's some stains on it too. It's awesome. This is the type of shirt that you buy and you wear once to make your friends laugh, but this person wears it like every week for to work. 20 years. They've worn this shirt. Oh, he's wearing his poop shirt. He's like, ha, P is for poop. You see this one? Got it. I don't like the shirt itself. No. I like this picture of the shirt because yeah. it's so weathered. So I'm going to give it like a C. Yeah, I was thinking B or C. C's fine. Okay. All right, now we got Joe Rogan podcast with Sonic and Shadow making out? I think so, yeah. Is that so is that Shadow? I don't know the Sonic world very well. Neither do I. I hate this shirt because I see so many people wear it, like yeah. Discord bros. and like, Again, like it's not just a random shirt in the wild that's funny. It was like made for the account. Yeah, it's made five. to be funny. Yeah, Joe Rogan sucks. Yeah, he does. You're not going to stand up for him this time? No, I've done too much standing up for him and I really only stand up for him because I really like his brother Jeff Rogan's podcast, which is lesser known but also more controversial and I like it for that reason. More controversial. Yeah, it's a little further right. Oh, so what? Smokes. Cry me a river, people. This is an F. Yeah, F. All right, now we got Lord Jim. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. <laughs> Un it's the artwork here that is just incredible. It is actually so well done, like the shadow work. It's like an old metal t shirt. Yeah. You know? And like the detail on the cross itself, the sin of the world he's carrying. This is so sick. Like, I would wear 
wear this shirt in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. the definition of a ripped Jesus, too. Look at the definition on the quads there. God, I have never wanted to fuck him more. Really? Than right now. Oh my God, yeah. I mean, what he did for the world is great, and like turning water into wine, cool trick. Yeah. But I mean, look at the definition on these muscles. Yeah. I mean, this guy is an absolute beefcake. And he's got so many holes to fuck. Jesus. I know, right? <laughs> S tier for yeah. me. Fuck, dude. Now we got orange cum in the Nickelodeon logo. <laughs> this one does it for me. Yeah, I don't know too. why. It's it's obviously one of the intentionally funny ones, but it's just hilarious. Yeah. It's like the dumbest thought I've seen here turned into an actual shirt. Haha. Uh -huh. Orange cum. The Nickelodeon logo looks like orange cum. Oh, <laughs> run it. Um, it's a good A. Yeah, today. Now we got Coke is a joke, and I can't wait for the next line. Now I know you love this one because it's kind of in your style. Yeah, it's got like the old hot rod thing, but it yeah. also kind of looks like a parlor or a saloon from right. the 80s, you know? And it's like a pun format, you know? Yeah. I love that it's on like a child's pink shirt. Yes. And <laughs> And it's got the Coke on it, you know? It's got yeah, the yeah. Coke there. Like, it's a good design. Little razor in there. It's like a nice hand-drawn design. I would wear this one, but I understand that it's not an S. It feels like an A. Yeah, yeah. And there's nothing funny about drug abuse. <laughs> Next, we got another long one. I'd rather be cranking my meat to the sexy mouse from Disney's Ratatouille than doing what I'm doing right now. Letting the dumbest motherfucker I've ever met read my t-shirt. I love, like, Disney's in the Disney font, sexy's in, like, a little cursive. You have symbols for cranking meat. Yeah. You even have the little mouse there. Right now's text is awesome. Yeah, it's like the ESPN font. Yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> All the, the attention to detail in this one is badass. The backwards E in dumbest. Yeah. It's kind of one of those ones have you ever seen on Facebook where it's like never trust a man who was born in July and loves ketchup and went to southern Mississippi college or yeah. something like that it's like super too much stuff going on it's trying to do that my problem here is just from a factual standpoint yeah it's actually Disney Pixar's Ratatouille right 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 and it just says Disney's Ratatouille yeah which kind of makes the whole shirt just kind of moot for me yeah I feel it it's and a moot point cranking my meat is not a nice thing I like that one. Oh, I like that part. It's like imagining your meat as a lever, you know? You're cranking it. <laughs> you can crank the chain, or you can beat the meat, but to crank the meat feels like it would hurt. Crank that meat. Watch me, you! <laughs> crank that meat. This is a B for me. Yeah, I think it's like a it's like a C or a D for me. Really? Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's put it in the middle then. All right, we got another long one. This one actually comes from Shirts with Threatening Auras, right. which is another great Twitter account, and we could do a tier list of those if you want us to. But we've got, I am clinically insane and I want to kill. This threat is serious and you can hold me legally accountable for it. I want to kill so bad, you can use this shirt as evidence against me in court after I commit murder because I want to so bad. <laughs> and then the little grin on the person's face that's wearing it. Yeah, this is an incredible shirt. Yeah. I feel like it will become lame because I feel like a lot of people are gonna buy this one. For sure. And you're gonna see it everywhere or whatever, but the writer of this shirt did a great job in yeah. nailing a type of person mentality. Murderous. Murderous, but like funny on the internet. Right, right. Probably listens to Blade. Yeah, or like Duster. This is like, yeah, it's like Duster fans and Blade fans will yeah. wear shirts like this, you know? It's good. I wouldn't wear this shirt because I would never, ever want someone to think of me as a killer. Because I'm like, peace first kind of guy. Yeah, I know that about you. But it is funny. Yeah, I also feel like it's one of those that we're gonna all roll our eyes at soon. Yeah, let's go see. Ah. Uh, you think it's a little better? I think it's better than that. All right, B. Yeah. Now we've got <laughs> skateboarding is a crime, not an Olympic sport. This is one of my favorites yet. I love this one. With the cuffs to complete the Olympic <laughs> rings. Incredible. Incredible. I love the old person that thinks skateboarding is a crime. Or this the security guard at the bank that comes out yelling at you when you're trying to you hit that rail. You kids get off of here. No skating. I was in Rochester Hills last night uh -huh. and I drove up to a thing that like I saw this huge ramp up to a building and it was all concrete. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, this is the best place to skate. And then I got close to it and it says no skateboarding on it. And it was a bank. It's literally yeah, exactly it's what always it's always a bank with a huge ramp up to it. And it says no skateboarding on yep. it. This is the easy S. Yeah, easy S. Skateboarding is a crime and sometimes 5-0 will get on you like the Olympics. Damn. Next, we got another embroidered one. I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. I want to speak to my grandma, San Antonio. <laughs> the San Antonio at the end is hilarious. <laughs> it's so crazy because like each sentence gets more crazy. Yes. Like it's, I didn't do it. You're like, okay. Nobody saw me do it. Okay. Connected to the first one. You're like, weird. I want to speak to my grandma. And you're like, huh. Kind of unrelated. And then San Antonio. And you're like, 
What? Yeah. <laughs> so strange. Is your grandma your lawyer? Is your grandma San Antonio? What did you do? Did you go to San Antonio and you don't want people to know it? S tier for me. Yeah, S. Next we got girl can do everythings. <laughs> Love a good misspelling. Yeah, it's amazing. It is amazing. And it's in a rack of other shirts, so it makes me think it's actually genuine. Yeah. It's like pulled this way too. Yeah. Like it's just like the weirdest picture of this shirt. Yeah. I don't know if this is even centered on that shirt. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. I think it's an A though. Yeah, 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 it's not an S, but it is awesome. Next we got, I love cabbages. That's my fucking problem. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, the ASAP Rocky reference and the picture of the cabbage really does it for me. And just like the placement of the text too right there. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I love that you're supposed to say it like, I love cabbages. That's my fucking problem. Like to, in order to say it like yeah. in the context of the song, you have to be like, I love cabbages. That's my fucking problem. <laughs> and I love cabbage. And I love that it rhymes with my last name. I'm about to ravage some cabbage and my name is Riley Savage and I pulled up with a bad bitch and I'm living lavish. Jesus Christ. C? C for cabbage. Next we got, <laughs> yo bitch look like Littlefoot. That's messed up. <laughs> it's just such a huge print. Yeah, Like it's, it's printed like, like so big on there. What does it even mean though? You know what I mean? What does it mean to look like Littlefoot? Do you look like a little Barontosaurus? <laughs> it's like a dystopian mall kiosk shirt. I want to go A with this one. This a? one's pretty funny. Yeah, it's really funny. Now we got <laughs> Clit R Us. Unbelievable. This one's good. And I'm really wondering where you can find a shirt like this. Yeah, these shirts are hard to find. I know <laughs> people will people will shame you for not being able to find a shirt like this. I can't. I just can't seem to come across it. Like sometimes I feel like I'm getting close to finding a shirt like yeah. this, and then I'm like, I don't know anymore. You know, maybe. If you can find the shirt like this, let me know yeah. how to get there. Yeah. I'd feel like more of a man if I found a shirt like this. Absolutely, for sure. yeah. That would, would restore my manlyhood. Yeah, this is an S. S tier. Yeah. When I was in high school, a friend of mine in biology class used to always say that his favorite Pokemon was Cletorus, and then just in the middle of class while the teacher was talking, just go, Cletorus. Yeah. Almost sounds like you're singing amygdala. Cletorus, I got it. <laughs> I, I, I want it. Next we got, Disney fuck world. Goofy holding up the words. It's like in the birthday letters, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Like you 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 string it along a sure. wall. Like Happy it's like, anniversary. Yeah, those sorts of things. But I don't know why this exists or where it would exist. I think it's hilarious. I love the idea of people fucking at Disney. But why even does it say Disney fuck world? Because it's funny. I guess. Um, This is good to me. I like this one. It's all right to me. A B? Yeah, B is okay. cool. All right, now we got life's too short not to be Italian. This is awesome. I love the Italian. And pride. I just like, you know, as if you had a choice. Right. <laughs> yeah. You can't just choose to be Italian. You're yeah. either Italian or you're not Italian. Doesn't matter how short life is. Tell that to half the people in Bushwick? I don't know. Who pretends to be Italian? People yeah. do. Yeah, they definitely do. They definitely do. Yeah. This one's all right. It's fine, you know? C. C. Next one, we got another long one. If you're going to fight, fight like you're the third monkey on the ramp to Noah's Ark, and brother, it's starting to rain. And this monkey's badass. Like Rambo looking almost John Wick like. And he's got like a cigar in his mouth. It's awesome. And I love that it's on an old man who's like serious about it. This person's not wearing it, ironically. Not at all. No, he's like, I will fight you, brother. <laughs> but it's got such a, like a visual element to it. Like yeah. I'm imagining, first of all, that there's a ramp to Noah's Ark. Right. Like there's a ramp up to it and there's there's three monkeys and only two of them are getting on Obviously. there and you got to fight. Yeah. And then he's like, brother, it's starting to rain. Like it's dramatic. It like is. it's so, it's such a dramatic scene. It's like awesome. You can imagine the rain pouring down and this monkey pulls out two guns, smoking a cigar in the rain, and he's about to kill one of the other monkeys to make it onto Noah's Ark. It's beautiful. It's an S. Yeah, absolutely. All right, next we got <laughs> Giuliani is my sex slave. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's just the person wearing it. Yeah. That really makes it for this one. Like, and Giuliani as a sex slave's awesome image. Yeah. This looks like it's right off like New York Nico's page. Yeah, totally. You know, this, this is. So in the wild. Yeah, that's an easy yes. Yeah. This lady's a legend. Oh my gosh. Now we've got a really long one. I am bisexual and I am bad at baseball. At the plate, I strike out over and over again because I am swinging all over the place. <laughs> when the inning changes, I am still up at bat. I am on the lineup for both teams. Do not play baseball with me. I am bisexual. <laughs> yeah, this is just taking the, like, uh, what is it, switch bat hitting? Yeah, bat for both teams. Yeah, batting for both teams, switch hitting to the absolute extreme and just really diving into it. It is baseball. It's not sexuality. It's just baseball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's extrapolating it to a place it does not need to go. No. And it's just a run-on sentence, yeah. like, scatter 
scatterbrained <laughs> thing. It's such a so funny, and it's on a baseball shirt. Yeah, it's just so weird. It's awesome. Yeah, I love it's this awesome. one. Shout out my bisexual kings and queens. This um, is a A, or does it go S? I think it's just an A. Yeah, it's close, but now we got. I ain't fucking stupid, but I used to. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a, one of those fucked up Walmart shirts. Yeah, like if you couldn't be in Walmart, sure. but it's the type of shirt that would be. Yeah, like it's like we'll trade my sister for pizza and video games. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's like, I ain't fucking stupid, but I used to. It's like a Mitch Hedberg joke, too. Yeah, this one's good. I would wear this one. You would wear this shirt? Absolutely. To me, this is just like an A or a B. I think it's a B. Let's go B on it. Next, we've got, <laughs> I wish I was old enough to vote for Trump with the Republican elephant on there. Brilliantly cartoonized in the side. Yeah, the Uncle Sam hat. It's like a terrible cartoon. And it's like just a, it is a little kid's shirt. Oh, like, it's tiny. Yeah. This is a sincere shirt. This is somebody that a parent buys for their child to yep. wear to school. I would love to see someone wearing it as like the baby tee though. Oh yeah. You know, an, ab a an actual baby wearing this, a big fat white baby. Yeah. Like an obesity baby, a real American baby. Yeah. With a bush I mean? light, not NA. Yeah. At like a, a county fair watching like train perform, you know? And people walk by and they're like, hey, nice, yeah. nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. <laughs> and the baby's like, <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Where's my rattle? I need my rattle. Train is an amazing band. I don't know why they have to play at county fairs. They should be touring the world. Drops of Jupiter, amazing song. <laughs> this is an A. Yeah, it's an A. Next we've got, man's not hot. <laughs> Again, the guy wearing it. Just an absolute legend. It's tucked in. Yeah, it's a tucked in white shirt and it says man's not and then hot is in big. Huge. Yeah. Do you think he's ever even heard the song? Uh, yeah. You think so? I think so. <laughs> man's not hot. Man's not hot. But if it was on someone else, you I don't know where it ranks as a shirt. It's not that funny, but it is the context here. Yeah, the picture is great. The shirt is like a B or a C. Yeah, I go C. Yeah, let's go C on it. Now we've got go to church. Pray you don't guard me. <laughs> now this is a, I believe this is like from an era of and one shirts where they were just making some of the most outrageous like sports tees. Yeah, you were saying that to me. I yeah. can't believe this is a real and one shirt. Yeah, cause that's the and one guy. The faceless gray baller. Yeah, he's almost like carved out of marble. You know, uh -huh. he's like a perfect specimen yeah. playing basketball. Yeah, this is amazing. This is like a real, like not even really meant to be funny. This is like serious. Yeah, it's like a vintage shirt. It's yeah. like a five vintage shirt that yes. you would find. Like I could see this being expensive. For sure, S. S. Now we've got, <laughs> I am not a piece of shit. I am a piece of society. <laughs> this just makes me think like, we live in a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's something about this one that is like weirdly poetic, yeah. but also so stupid. Yes. And the fact that the first one's in a block and it's on a pink shirt. Yeah. It almost looks like it is on a white shirt that got washed with the reds. Yeah, something like that. You know Very I mean? faded pink. Yeah. I'm gonna give it an A, I think. Yeah, he's good. We're going to another pink shirt. If Jesus returns, kill him again, dot com. Look at the man wearing this. I think this guy is somehow in the shirt community. Somebody yeah. let me know. He like wears a bunch of stupid shirts. Yeah, he either is making them or he like runs the actual website or something. I've seen this guy doing this like exact selfie many a time. Yeah, with a dumb shirt. Yeah. I like this one because it's a web address, but it's like so much space between each line and space between the words. Like yeah. there's dashes there because you could actually type it in. Right. Kill him again. This is ruthless. <laughs> this is crazy. This shirt would offend a lot of people and that's why I like it. Yeah, another religious element. Yep. I love this shirt. I think it's an S. I think so too. Now we got a very popular one. Yeah. <laughs> Gay Garfield, mmm, lasagna, <laughs> and cock. <laughs> <laughs> Three things you should know about Garfield, okay? One, hates Mondays. Big time. Two, loves lasagna. Uh -huh. Three, loves cock. Yeah. If he's gay Garfield. It's the modern spinoff. I love this one because it's like, it's also just that funny idea that you have that you just make, make into, into a into shirt. A shirt. Yeah. Like some idiot had the idea to make this. Oh, you know what? Gay Garfield would love cock. <laughs> <laughs> he loves lasagna, but he also loves cock. It's an A. It's not quite an S. It's you. an S for me. All right, you yeah. can take it. You think so? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Now we got <laughs> Comcast in the coexist bumper sticker style. I love when it's done in this font. Me too. Anything. But Comcast is a good one to put because it's just an evil big corporation that everyone's familiar with. Everybody has a problem with Comcast. They all have a story where they're like, oh, I got to call Comcast today. Yeah, Comcast <laughs> fucked me for the last time. Yeah, I absolutely love this one. Ass it. Ass it up. All right. 
Um, by the way, let us know if you want us to do poorly translated shirts, shirts with threatening auras, uh-huh. any other Twitter account that you'd like us to make a tier list out of. We would love to do that here on Absolutely. I'm Limited. So next we've got strawberry jams, but my Glock don't. Wow, that is hard. <laughs> I love that it's so hard, but the font is so unassuming. Yeah. It's almost like an Irish pub font. Yeah. <laughs> like, and why is it on the back? Yeah. Like it's just on the back and somebody was walking behind and was like, oh my God, Holy I gotta take a shit, picture of this. this guy's serious. <laughs> it is like when you see a font license plate yeah if the stuff is on the back you have to do that like thing where you're like i gotta get close to him and catch you up take, catch up take I gotta the picture get the snap. and it's not as it's like blurry or whatever strawberry jams but my glock don't that is a banger fire s yeah last one in this list dro- 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 drop your favorite shirts that go hard in the comments too for us to include in a sequel of this if you mm-hmm. want us to do it again roadhead the best. <laughs> on the Radiohead. Yeah. It is so good. We've talked about this album cover. It's the Benz by Radiohead yeah. on our main channel on an album cover tier list. The story behind this is hilarious and yeah. that makes it even better, but it does look like the face of euphoria and bliss. Yeah. You can just imagine them getting head and then it just says Roadhead, the best. And it's perfectly executed. Yes. Like it really looks like the cover. This is my favorite one on the whole list. Oh, I would wear this. Sh- nah, I wouldn't wear this shirt. It's really? Too, it's too crass for my normal uh. style you know? I don't like to wear something that that's gross. Yeah. I imagine like I could run into my mom anywhere and I don't want to be wearing a shirt like that because she would be like, oh, honey. See, I could wear this around my parents and it wouldn't even like click. Oh, yeah. They'd be like, oh, I guess he's like, going through a radio head phase. Yeah. Like they'd see it and just kind of move on. Yeah, totally. This is brilliant. I want this shirt. If you have this shirt, please send it to me. I will reward you. This is the biggest ass yet. If you have any shirts that go hard, by the way, our P.O. box is in the description of our Instagram. Yes. So send us some shirts. We could even do one in real life. Yeah, that'd be fire. If we had you guys send us funny shirts from thrift stores and we review them. That'd be so cool. That'd be fire. Yeah. All right. Uh, this gets an S. That is our shirts that go hard tier list. Let us know what else you want us to do on HiveMind Unlimited. Uh, again, we have shirts that go hard on our website, HiveMindTV.com and over on Copes' website where we have a collab with him. All that stuff's linked in description. Uh, other than that, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff is said at the beginning. Do you want to do advice on this channel? Yeah. Graydon, give them some advice to leave or live their lives by. The menu is not the meal. All right, this has been High Mind Unlimited. We love you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this one. We're going to be dropping a bunch of videos on here.